welcome back. So today's video is the highly requested Ofra liquid lipstick review that I'm adding to my series. I kn this is a little later in the day than I typically like to get these started, but I just got this um, delivered by my mailman. So I ordered this actually on the 15th, but um, a few days before I had tried to get on to order them because a bunch of viewers have asked me to review them and I noticed that Kathleen Light's video came out like the same day I was trying to order it and the website just kept crashing, kept crashing and so they said to come back um, and so I finally got around to it a few days later. So I ordered this on the 15th. Since they were so backlogged with orders, um, it didn't ship until the 20th which I guess is not that bad. It typically happens anytime a smaller company has, you know, a, a pretty popular YouTube talk about something, everyone rushes the site and it happens with Sephora and a bunch of companies and it can be a pain in the butt. I picked the color up in Palm Beach. They're listed at the price of $19.90. I used Kathleen Light's 40 code that someone told me to use to get 40% off. So it, took, it deducted $7.96 from it, and then shipping was $4.95. I believe they do free shipping over $50, but again, I wasn't gonna buy three of these to figure out if I like them yet, because I learned my lesson with other unnamed brands. So after shipping and the discount, the total was $16.89. These do ship from Florida, and obviously I'm in San Francisco, so pretty far, but they did two days send it to me. So the drill is the same as always, guys. I exfoliated my lips with my Eva Anderson lip scrub, and then I moisturized my lips with my Kaplan MD Lip 20 Balm while I did my makeup. And now I'm just gonna wipe off the excess. Since I wiped away some of my foundation on that border, I want it to be a really crisp line. So I'm just gonna go over with my foundation stick foundation brush. I have flecks of glitter on my face still from last night's makeup tutorial. Glitter. Glitter is the herpes of the makeup world. It's true. Um, so I'm going to line my lips with Max Candy Yum Yum. So obviously this is a first impression. This was the um, box that it came in just says long lasting lipstick. I did get it in the color Palm Beach. I don't know if I said that. Um, the packaging right here is pretty plain, but that's cool with me. Obviously I got a neon pink by the way. So these smell good. They smell like cupcakes. I like that. So let's see how these apply. This did go on slightly streaky. If this is not a Barbie pink, I don't know what is. Woo. It's funny. It goes to show that a lot of the things that you see online once it's against your own skin tone is different. I thought that this color would be very similar to the Sunday color from ColourPop that I adore that color. I just despise that formula. It was like painting nail polish on my lips. Um, up close, I will zoom in to show you guys, but um, it did go on a little uneven. Again, I'm just nitpicking all of these liquid lipsticks just so you guys know what to expect. It is a really thin formula, but creamy if that makes sense. So I would compare these formulas to, to a thinner Stila or kind of like the bombs, except the bombs kind of have that little tingly minty effect. These do not. Let me zoom in to show you. Just a little streakiness over here. So this is an intense Saturday day color. <laughs> I have to run some errands um, around the city, but thank God I live in San Francisco. No one will be looking at me like I'm crazy because they're all probably more crazy than me. So you guys know the drill. It's the same as always. I will not touch my lips for the next eight hours. I will not reapply these. I will not apply a gloss, anything like that. I will do my first check-in in four hours and then my last check-in in the additional four hours. Give a total of eight hours worth of wear. It is 12.52. I will see you guys in four hours. It is 4.57, roughly four hours after initial application. First thing I notice about these is they have remained very comfortable on my lips. They're not overly drying, but if I turn to the side here, you can see my lips kind of sticking together a little bit. They have remained slightly like a tacky feeling, but I actually like that because it's remained comfortable to wear. It hasn't like sucked up every ounce of moisture in my lips. 
I'll zoom in to show you the wear in a minute. Um, all I can tell you, I'm gonna do the kiss test at the end of this video to show you, and I'll also try to layer them. I forgot to do that in my last video. I can already tell you, I feel like these are going to transfer because they still have that tacky feeling to them. Some important things I forgot to mention um, in the beginning is these are cruelty free. They are available from what I gather on the web page in 31 shades, You're getting eight grams of product. And one thing I did forget to say, since there was such a huge influx of orders on the website, after I didn't get my like shipping confirmation or anything after like five days, I went on to check the status of my order because I created an account when I ordered it and it said no recent orders. So I had to email them and ask, um, I said, I was charged for this, but it says no pending orders, and they just replied back. They didn't say anything. They just said, sorry, we're really busy with orders. Yours will go out soon. I said, okay. So um, if the same thing happened to you, rest assured they likely have it. It's just their system is acting up. I've been sitting on the couch watching the ID channel, watching uh, Dateline with the dog and Keegan's traveling. Uh, he's back in Arizona visiting his family and so I've been eating chips. Chips and French onion dip on the couch and <laughs> I was drinking my Starbucks. Um, some has come off on here but I have broke the chips up so there really hasn't been anything touching my lips. Let me zoom in to show you the wear. On the inside here a little bit it's kind of getting weird texture. Nothing abnormal for a liquid lipstick. Again, these have been really comfortable. The wettest part of your lip right here on the inside, it is starting to kind of break up. And again, I haven't really eaten anything. I am gonna eat dinner before my last check-in, so I will see you guys in another four hours. It's nine o'clock guys. It's a little more than eight hours after initial application. These have remained very comfortable to wear the entire time I have had it on my lips. Um, I would have to say that this is on par with dose of colors for the level of comfort, which is my number one spot as well. The kiss test is really going to determine my ranking of these, um, but first I will zoom in to show you the wear. But first let me tell you what I ate. I ate some chicken off a fork and I had some milk out of a straw. My lips were not on anything. I did eat some chips on the couch this afternoon, but again, my lips weren't on a whole lot, uh, just a fork. Right on the inside here, you can see it's kind of getting a weird texture to it. Okay, there's nothing on the back of my hands. Oh, I'm gonna do a kiss test. Oh God. Okay, <laughs> so I had this has had eight hours to dry and that's not just the little inside part of my lips. If anywhere that part that had worn off, this is all around. Okay, now let me try the layering test. Right where you saw it in here, let's see how it looks once I put another layer on. Let me give this a minute to dry. That's how it layered. See how streaky that went on? Okay, this makes it difficult for me because these have been very comfortable to wear. Transferring is a big deal to me though. They definitely get points for being very comfortable. They do have a wide range of selection for colors. I'm going to rank this above my LA Splash um, because it did last a decent amount of time. It is comfortable. I don't like the transferring so it gets points off for that. It's not gonna beat out my colored rain or any of these other above. So uh, for you guys keeping score, I will leave a list somewhere here, depending on my new editing, if I can figure it out, or a box right down here. Even after all that that came off on my hand right here, I mean, still a good amount is on. Again, these are very comfortable. You guys just have to decide what what properties of the liquid lipstick are very important to you. If you want it to dry down completely matte and not transfer at all, these are not going to be the ones for you. If you cannot stand very drying liquid lipsticks, these are going to be perfect for you. We will say that even up against the dose of colors that these are the most moisturizing liquid lipstick I've ever worn that have the wear that these do. Again, you guys know I love my dose of colors, but dose of colors are slightly more dry than this. That's why that tacky layer that keeps these so comfortable is also what's making it transfer like this. When something dries down completely matte, there's no moisture in it anymore. That's what's sucking it out of your lips as well. So overall, I am very happy with my purchase. I will pick up a few more and they're more unique shades that I don't already own. Um, 
that's the thing with, since I have so many liquid lipsticks because I love them, it's going to be hard for my top like five to get knocked off by another brand. And since between the five of those brands, they pretty much make every color that I want. You know, the ones that are unique to this, like there's a pretty cool uh, like army green and some other colors that I'll likely pick up because I do like these. Um, my only qualm with these is for the cost and again, coupon codes. I cannot stand coupon codes. I know that that sounds so weird, like who's gonna complain about saving money, but I just think it should be the same price for people all the time. I don't like, I don't know, I, I just, it rubs me the wrong way. It makes me feel like an infomercial like we've talked about in previous videos. I hope you guys found this review helpful. If you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will actually see you guys tomorrow because I have one more video at least to film this weekend. Thanks, guys. Bye.